Hello Booktube, welcome back to my 2024 library tour. In this episode, a two volume biography of him. But first, House of Lilies, The Dynasty That Made Medieval France by Justine Fernhaber Baker. So this is a dynasty biography of the Capetians. They ruled France from 987 to uh, 1328, although cadet branches continued to rule France until the final deposition of the House of Bourbon um, in the Revolution of 1848. Um, so this book primarily focuses on uh, the first Capetians, the, the father-son inheritance from 987 through uh, 1328. And I quite enjoyed the book. It is really good. Um, it kind of loses some steam towards the end, but for the most part, um, House of Lilies is quite good and is an uh, interesting um, look at uh, medieval France. Next is American Girls in Red Russia, Chasing the Soviet Dream by Julia L. Mickenberg. Um, have not gotten around to reading this yet. I picked it up from uh, the University of Chicago cell about two years ago. One criticism I do have of those big cell catalogs is that they don't really have James books all the time. Next is The Rise and Fall of Maya Civilization by J. Eric S. Thompson. Um, so this is an overview of the Maya. I um, have not gotten around to reading it. I picked it up uh, probably about well over 10 years ago from uh, Friends at the Library Book Sale because it was the excess from uh, Texas State Library. Next is November 1918, The German Revolution by Robert Gerwarth. So this is a look at the a German Revolution from the deposition of the House of Hohenzollern up through the, um, shortly after the signing of the armistice to end oh, World War, the Treaty of Versailles. Um, it's okay. I quite enjoyed it, even though I was arguing with it uh, for a good chunk of the book. Um, the aftermath of World War I is one of those um, historical subjects that I have a hard time with. One of these days I will make a video about that, or a tag video, or somebody can raise it in a Q&A. Next is A Brutal Reckoning, Andrew Jackson, The Creek Indians, and the Epic War for the American South by Peter Cousins. So I was planning on reading this book um, over the course of July of 2024, um, but I had a bad experience with one of the histories that I was reading and I'm not going to read any of the other two histories, and I'll explain a bit more of that with the next weekly reads. A book that I really enjoyed was Noble Ambitions, The Fall and Rise of the English Country House After World War II by Adrian Tenniswood. This is an amazing book. I loved it. Uh, so this is a study of... Um, English country estates and how um, before World War II and after World War II, a lot of them um, were demolished or um, let go. And this book looks at how uh, some of those that remained, how they sort of survived, um, how they were repurposed, um, how new families took them over, how some of them became uh, tourist attractions, that sort of thing. It's really fascinating. I 
really enjoyed this book. Another book I quite enjoyed is El Conquistadores, A New History of Spanish Discovery and Conquest by Fernando Cervantes. And I do not believe this is translated. No, it is not. So this is a study of um, the conquistadores from Hernan Cortes through to, or um, really the first conquest in the Caribbean through to um, sometime in the 18th century. And it is quite fascinating. Um, it is fairly counterfactual um, in some ways, but very interesting. I also quite enjoyed Great States, China and the World by Timothy Brook. So this is about the um, Chinese uh, sort of encounters with the world uh, from the Ming. No, it starts with the Yuan Dynasty, with Marco Polo coming to um, China and goes through the communists. Um, and it's quite fascinating. Would love to see more in-depth history of China, um, particularly the Ming and the Qing and stuff. And now we come to the two-volume biography of him. Hitler, um, ascent 1889 to 1939 by Volker Ulrich. Now, this is the first volume. It is translated by Jefferson Chase. And this is the second volume, Downfall, 1939 to 1945. Again, translated by Jefferson Chase. And of course, written by Volker Ulrich. It's a return to John Julius Norwich. This is Byzantium, The Decline and the Fall. So this is the third volume of John Julius Norwich's um, three-part uh, history of the Byzantine Empire, which I don't... I want to say I read when I was a in college, but I don't remember how much of it I read. So I picked this up from the Waco McLennan County Library for from one of their um, friends at the library cells. And unfortunately, it's just this copy. Next is Post-War, A History of Europe Since 1945 by Tony Ute, which I've not gotten to yet. And the final book on this shelf is Outrageous. The Story of Section 28 in Burton's Battle for LGBT Education by Paul Baker. So I picked this up a few years ago from, uh, I want to say I picked it up from a catalog from the University of Chicago Press. I don't think this was up in the big cell catalog. I think it was one of the more uh, sort of subject specific catalogs, but I haven't gotten around to this one yet either. So, BookTube, that concludes that shelf. I will be back tomorrow with the penultimate shelf of my history collection. And then, of course, on Friday, it will be the final uh, shelf. So until then, BookTube, thank you. Have a great afternoon and stay safe.